Hey y'all, um, it's been a while since I've done a video on the go-kart, actually almost like six months or so, well probably not that long, but uh, I finally decided to uh, fix the brakes on her, uh, yeah, so also just a few more things just to update you, uh, I finally replaced the fuel tank, uh, the other one's mounting bolts were broken off. Um, and yeah, other than that, I haven't really done much. Oh, I got some dice. I think they look pretty sweet. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to sticker bomb the, uh, the gas tank, and that's not working out too well, because it looks like ass. But yeah, right now I'm just trying to replace the brake pads so that I can actually stop, because you've seen my videos where... I'll be flying and I got no brakes. So, uh, yeah, that's just what I'm going to be working on for tonight. It's only like 95 degrees out and I'm sweating my ass off. So, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and show you the caliper because right now it's in paint. So, uh, yeah, when that's all done, I'll show you. All right, here's a new brake caliper. Well, it's not new. It's just painted. Uh, painted it orange because that's the only paint I had. But I think it looks cool. So uh, now I got to make a new brake pad because the one that that was on it fell out. So I just got to make one that will fit in that slot right there. Um, I don't really have materials or I don't really have the actual brake pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it out of an old patch of a tire. And uh, we'll go up to the workbench and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I got a piece of a tire out. I know that brake pads are typically made of uh, uh, shaved pieces of metal, and then they're glued together. But uh, I don't have the materials, nor the willingness to do that, because I'm lazy. So, I'm going to make a shortcut. So, I cut it out of uh, an old front tire I had, when uh, before I had these big meats put on there so I uh, cut these out and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screw them in to uh, this piece of metal because how the because how the uh, brake caliper works is it's actually pretty smart all right found the stuff so this thing will push up against the metal which will in turn push up against the rubber so that it'll move as one piece and it'll hopefully rub up against the brake pad without welding it without melting onto it and all right so here's a completed brake pad uh i know it's a little underwhelming looking but it's got a bolt through there or it's got a screw and this will just rest inside the caliper and bob up and down and rub up up against the the um, rotor now obviously I'm gonna shave down that big ass nail product um, it's just a bunch of aluminum sheets on top of each other screwed together to a piece of, of a rubber tire I honestly have no idea how this is gonna work the good news is it can't perform any worse cuz I didn't have any brakes before so uh I guess the only whoa it just started to rain uh, it's gonna rain so uh, best thing to do now is just to install it so I've got the two back tires back off the ground and I'm, I'm just gonna roll them see how long it takes for them to stop without the brakes all right one two three four now with the brakes oh yeah it's actually got some stopping power just gonna do a test in the morning to see how well I stop. This thing has got no stopping power whatsoever. So, uh, and plus it's a good excuse to paint that caliper orange, kind of rice it out a little bit. So, uh, I'll see y'all in the morning for a little test drive before work. And, um, yep. Yeah. Alright, see you then.
All right, so my attempt at the brakes totally failed, so I'll have to give her another go. I think if I just make the pad itself thicker so it actually stays inside of the um, caliper because it fell out, so I think if I just make it thicker, I think it'll work. So uh, I guess it'll, there'll be a part two and uh, give this thing another shot.